Welcome to the 2024 MISHA football in-season training video number five. As the coordinator of football officiating, it has been my honor and privilege to serve you this year. I want to commend all of the officials and coaches who took the time and interest to review the previous four football instructional videos this year. Our hope is that they have provided guidance and expectations on how the game is to be officiated. In addition to viewing the videos, I am hopeful that, as an official, you have committed yourself to reading the rulebook, casebook, and official's manual. All of these resources are provided to assist you in being your best. Anything short of that is unacceptable. In our final video, we are going to review a variety of plays and some refreshers that we have covered during the course of this season. Is this play running into the kicker, which is a 5-yard penalty, roughing the kicker, which is a 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down, or is it not a foul at all? A defensive player shall neither run, tackle, or charge into the kicker of a scrimmage kick. However, there are several exceptions which allows this action to not be penalized. One exception is if the defense touches the kick near the kicker and contact is unavoidable. Note that after clearing the snapper, the umpire is able to look through the action at the line of scrimmage and help with whether or not the kick was touched by the defender. He then provided the tipped ball signal. Another exception is if the contact is caused by R being blocked into the kicker. In this play, K24 in white is responsible for blocking R1 directly into the kicker. Great no call by the referee, along with providing a verbal explanation to the press box and clarity to everyone as to the ruling on the field. It is forward pass interference if any player of A or B who is beyond the neutral zone interferes with an eligible opponent's opportunity to move toward, catch, or bat the pass. Pass interference restrictions on a legal forward pass begin for A with the snap. On this play, A9 in black sets a pick on B5 in white, interfering with his ability to move toward, catch, or bat the pass, or in simpler terms, his ability to defend the play. The back judge is right on top of it and appropriately throws a flag for this illegal action. An offensive player shall not push, pull, or lift the runner to assist his forward progress. This action by A6 in white, in both plays, is considered aiding or helping the runner, and per NFHS rules, it is illegal and should be penalized. Helping the runner is a five-yard penalty. An offensive player, excluding the runner, shall not use his hands, arms, or legs to hook, lock, clamp, grasp, encircle, or hold in an effort to restrain an opponent. As most people say, an official could call holding on every single ploy. We don't want to split hairs on holding penalties, but we do want to get the obvious ones, especially when they affect the outcome of the ploy. This illegal takedown of B18 by A97 is not one that we can afford to miss. This is a classic bear hug, grasp, holding foul at the point of attack by A79 in red. This grasp by A55 in red and pulling B68 in white to the ground is also a holding foul and should be penalized. The umpire is the primary official to see this block. Holding is not limited to offensive players. A defensive player has the same restrictions. They cannot use hands or arms to hook, lock, clamp, grasp, encircle, or hold in an effort to restrain an opponent other than the runner. As A2 in white cuts diagonally up the field, B32 in green uses his arms to hook, grasp, and spin to the ground the eligible receiver. Since the pass has not left the passer's hand yet, this is defensive holding and not defensive pass interference. The first pass in this play is legal. However, a second and subsequent forward pass thrown during a down is illegal and it is a foul. After A1 makes a nice catch nine yards downfield, he then pitches the ball forward to his teammate streaking down the sideline. What makes this an illegal forward pass is the pass is first touched further downfield than where it was thrown. This illegal forward pass should have received a five-yard penalty from the spot of the foul and includes a loss of down. It is legal for a player to conserve yardage by intentionally throwing an incomplete forward pass if all of the following conditions are met. One, 
the pass reaches the neutral zone, including the extension beyond the sideline. Two, the passer is the only player to possess the ball after the snap. And three, the passer has possessed the ball beyond the lateral boundary of the free blocking zone as established at the snap. The intended message on this play is when in doubt, if the passer is outside of the free blocking zone, he is outside of the free blocking zone. Outstanding officiating by the crew for not penalizing this play. Is this a legal or an illegal forward pass? Was the passer outside of the free blocking zone? Yes. Did the pass reach the neutral zone, including the extension beyond the sideline? Yes. Was the passer the only player to possess the ball after the snap? Yes. This was a legal forward pass, and the officials did a tremendous job of communicating and not penalizing. So here we are, the last two weeks of the regular season, and then into postseason ploy. To say that I am proud of the efforts and improvements you have made during the course of this season would be a tremendous understatement. Your willingness to study, learn, and grow has been beneficial to the players, coaches, and the game of football. With that said, please know that our work is not finished. My challenge to you is to continue your commitment to be the best official and the best officiating crew that you can be. Great effort, great teamwork, and a great attitude helps to make everyone a winner. Finish the season by bringing your A game to every game. Remember, the players, coaches, and the sport of football deserve your very best. Good luck. Stay safe and enjoy the rest of your season.